Well, mayors uh, are an opportunity because it's an individual representing a city. It's an individual that businesses can go to. And whenever we talk to businesses, whenever the centre goes around the country, actually it's something that businesses want. So there's an advantage in having an individual representing a city. Um, we know that uh, mayors are better known outside a city than leaders of councils. The whole purpose of having a mayor is that that individual who is mayor should be the focus of democratic accountability and able to give strong leadership. The fact that people know who they are and they voted for them or against them, for or against their programme, is hugely important in them having the political authority to be able to act. You always need checks and balances. And we're not saying that you shouldn't have that. You need checks and balances. The local council will have a role in doing that. Um, you need to make sure that mayors are democratically accountable. And they will be, because they get elected in on their mandate, and if they don't deliver, they'll get elected out. There would be no congestion charge in London if it weren't for the fact that the mayor of London, Ken Livingston, had a mandate to introduce it. There probably wouldn't be any Boris bikes. There probably wouldn't be any Olympics in London if that wasn't the case. Now, of course you need checks and balances. You can't give a mayor unfettered power. In London, there's the Greater London Assembly as well as the mayor. But in the other cities where the referendums are taking place, the city council will still continue. It will still play a crucial role in representing the views of, of localities within cities, of individual constituents, and providing checks and balances, having to agree the budget and major uh, uh, policy uh, decisions that are taken by the Mayor. When you look at London you can see there is support for the Mayor and that may, means that individual who's the figurehead can really make a difference to the city. We think that Mayors have got the potential to do that with those appropriate checks and balances. But the big prize of having strong, effective, democratically accountable leadership, that is something which has eluded our cities for the last uh, for, for generations now, and it needs to be put right. I often ask people if they can name the leaders of the major cities outside London. How many people know who the leaders of Birmingham, Manchester and Leeds City Council are, three of the largest cities outside London? I hardly ever meet anyone who can name, certainly not all three, hardly anyone who can even name one. Everyone knows who Boris and, and, and Ken are. Often people know who the mayors of major um, American cities are too. We need to put that right in Britain. The point at which people know who the leader of their city is, is the point at which they will have the authority that they need to be able to bring about fundamental change.